winter kicking in and the fishing windows getting shorter, it was time to get a session in. Mission number one, anchoring off the shipping channel for a gummy. The one fish that has evaded me my entire life. I think with a gummy, it'll, it'll bounce like that and it'll start going really hard. How would you know? <laughs> you to be funny? I would have tried to be funny without your life jacket on. <laughs> It's a gummy. It's a fucking gummy. Turn that on. Oh Ladies and gents. God. Oh no. It's a it's actually a seven gill. Yeah. You know this is this is actually an improvement. Oh it's heavy. Watch its mouth, these have teeth. Guys, you know, you know that I haven't caught a gummy when I get excited about a fucking seven gill. This is actually my first ever seven gill. Just trying to swing around and bite me. You go, buddy. All right, it's a start. It's a start. It was the start, but it was also the end. Despite doing everything right, not to my surprise, they evaded me again. Banjo, we got seven gill and we got Port Jackson. This is my luck, ladies and gentlemen. After catching every shark in Port Phillip Bay that wasn't a gummy shark, we decided to head back inshore to Portsea to have a crack at some squid and at least take a feed home. So we've just come out to Portsea. We've um, anchored up on some weed here, going for some squid. We had one just before and it was actually quite big. This one feels like a massive squid. We had a bit of a failed gummy session before so we thought Let's try to get a feed of calamari on the way back in. So far, seems like it's working out. Bite. Have a look at the size of that squid. She's going on the fry pan tonight. Ah. Chicken parmigiana. Give her a whack. Let's get some more. On to another one. Look how hard these guys are pulling. I've caught my fair share of squid. Caught a few big ones a while back, but I've never caught them this close to shore. This big before. Bloody heavy, the rod's hardly handling it. That's even bigger. Oh my God. Bloody hell. That's on the, that's a brown, brown G. But it's saying that. Oh, look at that, both in one hit. But guys, as I always say, doesn't matter what jig you use, squid are the most dumbest things in the sea. You can throw anything at it, if they're feeding, if they're there, they'll smash whatever it is. So don't stress about all these different jig types, blah, 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 and all these fancy flicks and stuff. You don't need to be a magician. You don't need to wave your wand like an idiot. Throw it in. Give it a reel, let it drop, give it a reel. The only thing I'll say is, they always hit it when it's on the drop. Now the miso's on. You gotta keep them happy, you gotta keep them entertained. <laughs> Come on, babe, don't lose it. Oh, oh. Relax. Relax, man. Oh. Gotcha. I don't bad. It's a bit of a small one, but I'll take it. Probably use that one for bait for later on. So as I was saying before, nothing fancy when it comes to squid. All you need to do is find some nice ground, a bit of weed, and yeah, there's, there's really no secret to it. Up in the northern end of the bay, you tend to get it, you tend to get a lot smaller ones, but down the southern end, 
you want a if you want a nice bag of bag of squid, if you want a nice feed, it's definitely worth it because they're a lot bigger and you get more out of it. And so far, we're not having spaghetti tonight because the bag's filling up. You reckon you might be on, huh? Hello. I'm going to eat you. This one gets me in the face. Oh, Mister. Good job. Yeah, pa. A little bit bigger. And we're actually down to one jig. And as I was saying before, we went, for, went out for gummies earlier on. Now the tide sort of died down. Um, but yeah, stay, stay tuned for a gummy, a gummy session one day, I guess. It'll be coming. Welcome back, guys. And why are we back? Because we're doing a catch and cook. Lucky for you guys, you get to see a bit more of me. Now, um, these these ones in particular, these are some of the bigger ones that we caught. The smaller ones I've chucked back into the freezer as bait or snapper and gummy. Um, but the big ones are the best for a feed because you get nice, thick, juicy pieces out of it. So first things first, I'm gonna show you guys how we actually clean these. So what you wanna do is, first things first, you wanna separate the head. Stick your fingers, so you get a couple of fingers, and get it right in there. And you'll feel a bit of cartilage. That's sort of connecting the actual squid to the actual hood. So you go in there and you break it apart with your fingers and you turn it around. You turn your finger around so that it loosens the whole cavity. Gently pull it and the whole thing comes out. Now that in itself is dynamite bait. Now next thing, so you got your hood. And then see in there, you want to take these flaps off. Get your finger and you stick it in there till it sort of breaks a hole in it. So you get like a hole in it and then you start separating it. So you literally pull it apart off the hood. Next thing, you got the actual beak in there. Try to get underneath it. And that's your quill. Give that to your budgeriga. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give these a rinse. So I'm going to do all of them and then give them a rinse and then we're going to basically Cut them up into rings. All right, guys, welcome back to Ads Cooking. So we've got our freshly cleaned and washed squid hood. Look at that, look how nice and juicy that is. All we're gonna do here is we've got some freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're gonna pour that in there. And what that's gonna do is, helps to tenderize the squid, as well as actually add flavor to it. We let our calamari soak in the lemon juice for about half an hour. Tip that out, mix here. Now listen carefully. Otherwise, you're going to have to rewind it. One to one ratio of cornstarch to flour. In addition to that, we've got salt, we've got pepper. Put as much as you want. Be generous with your salt. And we've got garlic granules as well. You know, easy way around this is you tip this straight into a container. Your calamari. Put a whole bunch into the bloody egg whites at once. And you throw it straight in there. Ain't nobody got time for piss farting around. Chuck it straight in. Get on, start shaking this bad boy. All right, now it's ready to go straight onto the oil. All right, guys, so we're pretty much ready to go. That's what you want to hear from the oil. That's how you know it's ready. It starts making those noises. All that's left to do is pop our calamaris in. Why don't you do that one, Rob? After about a minute, now what happens is sometimes they start popping, so you've got to find some sort of form of protection. So I'm protecting myself at the moment. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, man. Chef, bruh. Fucking hectic, hectic, hectic. 